Okay, so here's this kit all dried and ironed now, and these are the colors I used on this kit. I used All Rit Dyes, Sunshine Orange, Petal Pink, and Golden Yellow. Um, I'm using less dyes now, but like with this Golden Yellow, I probably used about 35% of this bottle because the lighter your colors, if you want them more intense, of course you need to use more dye. I used about 20% and to a full glass of water that's about this tall here, okay? So um, just basically fill in the bottom of the cup like that much the glass and then the rest with water and then I did maybe 15% of the sunshine orange I want to take this color soon and I want to start trying to mix my dye colors together because I have the wine color of dye this is a little off topic but I really don't like it it comes out so neon pink and I'm wanting more of a deep deep red color so I'm going to try to mix it with some brown I'm going to try I would like to get a burnt orange color so I'm going to mix this down with some brown I might even mix a little of this with the wine color to try to get a really intense rust so if you haven't subscribed yet I invite you to because I do all kinds of experimenting and artistic treasure hunting on this channel. So um, also click the like for me, it helps me so much. But anyway, let's get on with this kit. Now this kit is half success and half fail. And most of my kits in my eyes are successful. And the reason that this one is partly a fail you will see in a moment. Here's this page here. I used a lot of onion skin in this kit and it really um, just turned into black blobs. Now this is from a yellow onion, this lighter one here, and these black blobby pieces are from red onion. So um, I consider this a fail. I was very disappointed to see how that came out. The yellow is pretty, but I think that the onion skin works much better in kits that you're not using any kind of dyes in when you're just um, boiling the papers and getting the actual eco dye. So uh, really not happy with that. But there's so many elements and areas of this kit that really work well for collage. This side works a little bit better. And then um, these leaves. See, I would tear this out. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my Etsy shop as is. But I'm going to really reduce the price of this kit because I'm just so unhappy with these blotches. Now this here is really cool. See how it kind of like wicked out in the paper and um, made more of like an ink splatter type look here. I love that look but with these light colors it really worked against what I was trying to do. So that's why I'm just going to go ahead and make this very, very inexpensive, this kit here. There's some great little areas like these leaves that can be torn and made into pockets and tags and all that kind of fun stuff. I did a lot of baby's breath and I just think it really contradicted the light and sunny vibe that I was going for. Also, I'm gonna do this kit again because I really want to have that light and sunny kit. But the next kit I do, I'm gonna leave the pink out of it. I just wanted to see how it looked, but I really like the orange and the yellow together. So I'm gonna leave the pink out and I'm gonna try to get more of a burnt orange color for the next kit. And I'm only gonna do like 
maybe 20 to 30 percent orange in the next kit and then make it predominantly yellow because I would like the pages to be bright and sunny with hints of burnt orange in them and you know that's what I want but <laughs> It, it's yet to be determined if that's what I get, you know what I mean? Which happens quite a bit in my world, but that's okay. I love to experiment. So I was talking about this in a couple other of my recent kits, how the leaves age as the season grows. Um, so you will get more and more of this kind of stuff later in the season. Plus these leaves I pulled from a tree that I've never used before. So that might be part of it as well. Um, I just don't know. That's the magic of eco dyeing. So this is a rose hip leaf cluster and this is of course off the off of a tree that I I get most of my leaves off of trees. And then there's some baby's breath in here. And then this is the mirror image side of this page. And these rose hip leaves are it's incredible the difference you get between each side of the leaves. And I found that to be true with all the species of leaves. But these just come out so black on one side and usually bright yellow on the other side. So it's just, you never do know what you're gonna get until you do it. These are grapevine leaves here and they print beautifully. If you have access to grapevine leaves, definitely get some of those. And then here's just a various array of leaves on this page. And then this was on my little grape crooked so I've got not only a barbecue sheet but a cockeyed barbecue sheet in this kit but I love this little area here I think this is a really beautiful collage element so I just uh this just really bummed me out to see all the black blotches I'm not happy with that but that's the point of showing you this is to show you hey if you're going for a light kit if you're going for a sunny you know or even a more pale kit stay away from the onion skin at least stay away from the dark onion skin um, the white onion skin you get a lot more detail I'm finding I'm not sure what color that is but um, when you use the white onion skin you will get some veining from it showing up in your kit and the yellow prints really yellow or orange you get both colors with the yellow so there's some usable stuff in here but so much of it is just not, I don't know, I'm just not liking it. So here's what not to do if you agree with me and you're not thrilled with those parts, then just omit the onion skin and you'll be fine. So I'm really glad you stopped by today because, you know, it's just as valuable to see what doesn't work I think as seeing what does work. So hit that subscribe and like buttons for me and I will see you next time. Have a great day.